guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 15 of Ascendance of Bookworms. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Even though we got the OVAs like a couple of weeks ago, it still feels like forever. Ugh. It's also so weird to have this on, like, a Saturday, because didn't we have, like, the first half of season one on when yeah, Wednesday, because I had, um, After School Dice Club and What's His Face. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I might have to like this <laughs> one more in season one. That was so pretty. <laughs> Didn't they show this part in the OVA? <laughs> Go on. friend. Mm -hmm. Or like a spotter. Mm -hmm. I think that should be fun. 
Because who knows if you're going to get paid here. Yeah, because I don't think you can just go ahead and put that out to anyone. Yeah, that too. Hmm? Oh, you mean the guy from the OVA? He was. <laughs> it has to be. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. Okay, I get it. What they're doing is they're taking parts from the OVA with new stuff. Because I'm sitting there wondering, I was like, didn't I already see some of this stuff? I mean, that's smart, but then it makes you wonder, then why have the two-parter OVA, you know? Because then they could have skipped that, and they could have directly just did this all in episode 15, which... It is what it is. Of course. Hmm? 
Well, working, of course. <laughs> Why do I look so good? I'm hungry. I've been eating since last night. <laughs> it's been like 12 hours since I last ate. <laughs> She's making me hungry. Are you sure that you need one on your own? <laughs> Honestly, no. Santa.
<laughs> oh, oh, I don't lose your balance. You just gotta keep practicing. Got a kitty that looks like to be an ass. But that's a little unfair. I get that, but she's just being nice. Look, you little shit. Well, can we take the girl and friend and not this little shit girl, please? She's pretty nice. Okay, never mind. Can we not have these two and just have fun? Get them to get them to. There you go. I mean, is that like being this four or something? Or just a second in command or some shit? <laughs> like, I honestly thought Dila was going to be like this cute wholesome girl and then she just was like e -e, no oh my god okay so let's just talk about this episode as a well. whole this is a really good return for this show i do like the fact that they did put stuff from episode 14 with the ovas into this episode because it, it's interesting but i still think with that ova they really shouldn't have done that but i get the fact is it seemed like because of the fact is, if you would have just gone into this episode and not watched them OVAs, you probably would have been a little bit confused. I would have possibly sit here confused and wondering what the heck was going on. And then I would have possibly had to watch the OVA at least tomorrow or Monday or whenever I had free time to watch 14 before to understand 15. But to now, even though I've already seen it and understood it and stuff, it's interesting. I like the fact that they only put little bits and not, here's a whole OVA of it again. Here's a mini little recap, but it just felt like here's one point, here's one point, here's another point, but here's still the main story of mine. I don't like the fact that the guy also in the blue um the blue robes with the book called her that, but I get the fact that this is a class society, and the higher you up, the more important you are, but the lower you are, you're the least important. But the fact is that she's working in this church basically says she is important even though she her family is poor so at the end of the day it really should matter because she's everything that she's done has led up to this moment 
for her to be able to be a blue robe. But I mean, Gillen, <laughs> do oh my god. You know what? Let, let's just talk about that too. She <laughs> the possibility, like in another life, in another timeline, she could have gotten to business because I mean she knows her stuff. But because of the fact that she is someone who really, really, from the beginning of the series, wants to read books. I'm glad she's somewhere around books. I think it's gonna take a little bit longer for her to essentially be able to go into the library because remember the last time when <laughs> she tried and you know because there was a force field around it she wasn't able to you know go in it but now because she's a blue robe and you know not the high priestess but him in the blue hair um essentially is her he she's her his apprentice so she'll be able to go in there and i think that when she finally is able to read a book even though she also made a book I think it's going to be one of those moments, it's just going to be so heartwarming and sweet and adorable. Heck, I might even cry because this girl wanted everything. She deserves the freaking world and I'm happy that she's somewhere where in a way she belongs. Yes, there are, you know, outcasts not really accepting her just yet. I mean... There's going to be people who are not going to like you for who you are or what you are as a person. But I just want her to honestly really just ignore Gil and Dila, but only if she needs to as necessary. But she needs to establish dominance and discipline to them. Fran, he's okay. He's fine. He, he There's nothing that you really just need to change about him. He's 100% fine. Them other two, though, I mean, honestly, if we could... <laughs> she and Adolia, but honestly, if it was me, I mean we'd have a talk <laughs> a really long talk but I, I think I don't know I mean because I was thinking that like because Fran was talking you know because he is an adult that they would have been like okay let's just go ahead and shut up but because of the fact is he is a gray robe and mine is a blue he really has no say in it mine is the one who has to really discipline all three of them no matter if they do something right wrong whatever she has final say on everything. So I honestly really can't wait for what in the world she's going to do next. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 15 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And of course, I will see you guys, especially all next Saturday for episode 16. Bye, guys.